today I have a, another wig review for you guys. The wig I'm going to be reviewing for you today is Motown Tresses Let's Lace Wigs Deep Part Lace in the style LPD Short. This is what the lady looks like and I got it in a number two. I originally saw Her Style Yo and Black China Bear do a review on this wig a month ago. Around the time that I saw their review, I had just got my GLS 25 in the mail. These wigs are pretty similar. I was like, I don't know if I'll get it. It's really pretty, but I was like, I don't know if I'll get it. So about two weeks ago, I'm on Instagram. I think she's a subscriber, but I follow her on Instagram. She posted this gorgeous picture of her in this really curly full hair with this awesome part and so I thought it was expensive hair and so I think I asked her what hair was it and she said it was this wig so I was like I'm definitely getting that hair and she gave me permission to post her picture in the video so I'm going to post that picture for you guys so yeah after I saw that picture I was like definitely getting that wig so this is what the wig looks like is very long and very full. The curl pattern is kind of like a spirally water wave kind of look. This is the kind of curl pattern I've been looking for for forever. Last year I got Long Secret and it was pretty but the part in space even when I tweezed it was just way too skinny and it just didn't look right. So this is what I've been looking for. The part in space on this looks really good. It's four inches deep, so that's really good. This is what the part in space looks like without tweezing or anything like that. So if you are one of those ladies out there that don't like to tweeze your wigs, you could get away with just probably putting powder in your part and going just like that. As far as the inside of the cap, it's regular wig cap construction, two combs around the part in space in the front, and then adjustable straps, and then a comb in the back and this wig this wig is long I'm I'm six feet tall as I always say in my videos and this wig has to be like 26 inches at least and I got this wig off of wig types I think this wig was around $31 so compared to the GLS 25 it's a lot cheaper $20 cheaper so I'm gonna try this on without manipulation just so you guys can see what it looks like and I'll be right back okay guys so I am back and I have tried the wig on this is with no manipulation just straight out the pack basically and it is a right side part but you can always shift it to the side that you want this is some diva weekend date night hair this hair is huge i wouldn't suggest this being like your work wig because it's a lot of hair and it's really long i'm gonna show you guys how long it is on me it is probably mid waist on me so i'm assuming that's like 26 inches here is the front this side the back the other side and the front again so just as it is I have on a black wig cap so the part in space you can't really see it that well if you have a light color wig cap it probably would show up a little better than what it is right now. I'm gonna get some gel, lay my edges down flat, probably clean up the part a little bit, and then add my pressed powder, and then I'll come back and show you guys. So hold on one second. Okay guys, I am back. I have gel my edges down, and I sort of tweezed the part. You don't really need to tweeze the part at all, cause I really just tweezed like a few hairs, and then I was like, it's already good. All you have to do is add your pressed powder, and you're fine. And I think the part in space looks really good. And I use my Revlon Color Stay and Color Medium. That's what I use in my parting space. I didn't say this earlier, but this hair does come layered. It's kind of shorter at the top and then longer throughout the hair. This is really pretty hair. I don't have any cons for it because the whole thing about it being so long and really, really, really full, that's kind of subjective. So that's kind of a preference thing and that's not like a negative. So this wig is all around, it's all around good. I don't have anything negative to say about it. It's been a while since I've had like almost zero issues with a wig. So that's it's kind of weird. If anybody's concerned about shedding or anything, I just try this wig on for my second time. So I don't know if it sheds. 
if it does i mean this hair is long and it's curly it's probably gonna shed it's probably gonna tangle too because it's so long and it's curly but that's to be expected just get some detangling spray and you should be fine i'm gonna try on my gls 25 just to give you guys a quick update just to show you guys the difference between the two wigs Keep in mind what this wig looks like and I'm going to show you what my GLS 25 looks like now. This is the GLS 25 over a month later. I've only worn this wig maybe three or four times. Trying this wig on after I tried on Shore. Shore makes this wig look a lot shorter than I originally thought because I thought the GLS 25 was so huge and and big but i actually like that it's not as big as sure so uh just a little quick update on this wig i wore this on valentine's day and it was really pretty this wig has tangled a good bit but that's to be expected so it's not that bad i think this is a really pretty wig the cap size of this wig is huge so if you have a small head you would probably have to wear a lot of bobby pins and definitely adjust those straps in the back but if you have a big head the friday night hair wigs are probably really good for you just a comparison between the two wigs the curl patterns are different this one is seem to be looser than the shore wig the shore wig has, has more parting space but the parting space on this one isn't that bad you just have to shift the parting space to what side you want it to be on so you can get the most parting space this one has about two sure has four inches of parting space yeah i have cut some layers in the front just to frame my face on my GLS 25. Okay guys, so I went and tried short on again just to do my intro and I watched it back and I was like, oh my God, this hair is really pretty. I think GLS 25 and this wig is really pretty. It just depends on your taste, but the curl pattern on this one is just what I've been looking for. It's a lot of hair, but if you're getting this wig, you just have to know that this is a lot of hair. I'm probably not gonna cut any length off or anything like that. I think this wig is beautiful. If you guys were thinking about getting a GLS 25 or Shore, I would say if you're a person that you're on a budget, then get this one because it's beautiful and it's $31 versus the GLS 25, which is 50. But I also do like the GLS 25 because it's also pretty. So either way, you can't go wrong, but I really do like Shore. So if you guys have any more questions or concerns or anything, just put it in the comment section and I'll see you guys next week with more wig reviews and I have some hauls coming as well. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.